Now, when we put out calls for um, tweets this morning, it's fair to say that we were um, bombarded with lots and lots of um, uh, taxi drivers who are very concerned about what's going on at the Shard. In short, why would there be no cab rank outside of the Shard? So, in short, there is a cab rank. There is a, space, a there is a space for one cab in the forecourt of the Shard, which is where the hotel asked us to put it, so that their customers can step straight out and into a cab. And then there's a light, and when that cab's uh, full up, people can come from the rank down the street that we've established. What they'd like to do is to sit in a couple of spaces outside the hotel, further away than the taxi which is in the forecourt, because they think that they'll be used by private hire vehicles. The reality is the hotel asked the highway authority for those spaces to be there for loading and unloading, for people unloading bags. There is a limit to what I can do. And really? I, well, it's not my street, actually, apart from anything else. The, the hotel's private property and the street so is the London Borough of Southwark. Okay. And, and, I, and I think that actually there are some fabulous people in the cab trade, but one of the things they do need to learn is that not everything is our fault, actually. And, and, and do also, you feel you get an unfair rap from taxi drivers in general? Because there's no, not 22, 23,000 of them. There are, the London taxi trade comprises the best people in the world. They're the most well-educated in what they do, and there's some fabulous people. When I went to the now palace to get really my... Think. No, no, when I went to the palace to get my knighthood, I said to the office, get me the best cab driver in London, and I got the best cab driver in London. He took us in an immaculate cab. He was wearing a suit, a bloke called Jim Rainbird, really nice guy. At the other end of it, there's some people who think the world owes them a living, and they're the people, some of the people who are tweeting it. When they've got a complaint which is justified, we look into it with, 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 with alacrity. I got a text from a bloke on Saturday morning who said to me he'd sent his licence renewal and his money two and a half months ago, and we cashed his cheque within a week, and he hadn't had his licence back. And I sent, it, I sent him a reply. It was 7 o'clock on Saturday morning when I opened my emails. I sent him a reply, and I copied it to Leon and said, you wouldn't like that, would you? Why are we doing that to people? If you get pay your money, you, you, surely you should get your licence pretty quickly. So we've agreed to look into it. So we're not, we're not saying, oh, no, we just chuck all that lot away. It would be nice if some of them had the courage to tell you who they were as well, considering we licensed them all. Well, they can contact you directly. Give they you can. Many of them do. Um, we should...